You know, we're in the belly of the beast, and a lot of people are doing a lot of things they shouldn't be doing. And I'm, mm, this is the thing. Now, when you're a tall girl, a tall girl, and stuff, and this is for my tall sisters out there and stuff, a lot of times we have to wear things that are much more form fitting than most. Everything we put on can make us look even bigger than we are, especially if you are a girl who is, you know, have curves and stuff. You know, you have curves and stuff. Everything you put on makes you look bigger than you actually are and stuff. Now, the sad part about it is that a lot of girls, um, we can't really wear heels like we want to and stuff. Now, I put some shoes and stuff um, a few months ago and stuff, like to go with my um, green coat and stuff. And whatever it was, I, um, I won't wear them. And the reason why I don't wear them is not because I don't like them or I actually love them, but I won't wear them outside only because... I have a complex about being ready and stuff like that and you know I always feel like if I put on heels that um, someone may come up on me and I always want to be prepared and stuff and the thing about it that I learned as far as being Uber Land is that when it comes down to black people and stuff I learned that if you're, you're the kind of black, if you, most black people when they see somebody dressed up they automatically go like look at them and stuff like look what they got on it's almost like that person is stepping out on the town as far as being a model and stuff like that we always say you know, just going out inside and stuff, you know, just, you know, just going where they gotta go. And I also learned that when you're dressed up and you go out inside, that people come up on you to try to start trouble with you and stuff, because they're like, well, you're already dressed up and stuff, so I know you're not gonna try to fight me and stuff like that. When you're the kind of person that goes out, you know, and you look like pure shit, nobody wants to walk up on you, because at the end of the day, they're like, you look like you're ready to fight. And reality is that that's not what you want to go. You know, you don't want to fight whether you are dressed up or whether you are, you know, just going out about, well, I don't, I don't. But the thing about it is that, you know, we got a lot of bad people out here and stuff like that. And I've talked about this before. And I'm going to share with you once again. Mental ill people do exist. There are people out here who only purpose in life is to start trouble with someone else. You could be the kind of person that mind your business, you don't bother anybody, and they'll come straight to you and start something up. That's the point of your life where you have to decide, is this person worth it? And they're not. A lot of times, people will put you to the test. The test, the test of moving forward with your life, or the test of sitting behind bars. Now, the reason why they walk up to you is because they have nowhere to go in life. Nothing to do. Nothing. Their goal in life is to make as many people miserable as they are. Now me myself, I've come across pe people like that. So don't let these people dictate or stop your life and stuff and anything you want to do and stuff like that. Um, that was just super to do, of course, you know, like I said before, when I do these videos and stuff, I really feel like everybody's watching me, and I've been telling you, know, people, and the thing about it is that I already have trust issues and stuff, and I already heard, you know, and I was like, okay, or I already know, I had this feeling before, but I kind of got to confirm this stuff, but anyway, I, you know, then I don't even care, but the thing is that, you know, you spend your truth and stuff like that, if you want to go out as far as real hope, stuff like that, I mean, myself, I haven't done that as far as that, only because of, I always feel like you have to stay ready and stuff, and if you don't, if you have to get ready, then that means you wasn't ready to walk outside the door. And the thing about it is that I know when it comes to a lot of people, they go through life trying to find ways to stop you from a lot of things you're trying to do within your life and stuff, and, you know, living and stuff, and, you know, the thing about it is that, you know, you try to stand in your truth, and it is what it is. 
And of course, that's the only complex I think is listening at my door once again, which probably the stalkers are real. Anyway, so I do what the shit is with this first thing and stuff like that. You know, when you wear clothes that are certain size and stuff as far as being tall, it can make you look really burly, really big. And the girls like me, even females, you know that what I'm talking about is that you have to find clothes that's almost like form-fitting as if you're trying to show off your shape. And it's not even really about that. It's just the fact that if you put it on as far as, you know, clothes and stuff, it can make you look really burly. And there's always somebody who want to walk up to you and say, you know you're tall, right? You know you're tall. And you're like, oh, that's funny because I wasn't tall yesterday, but I'm tall today. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. But, you know, I want to keep, I want to, um, talk to you about this and stuff as far as my tall girls and stuff. I wanted you to tell, put down how tall you was and put down, um, how tall you are with heels on and stuff. You know, my six feet and if I put on heels, I'm like six, four, six, five. Hell, I could almost go up to six, seven and stuff, but it's only in heels and stuff. And we already know when you wear heels and stuff, it makes you look very sexy and stuff. And, you know, a lot of times that, you know, we don't really wear it and stuff because by you being tall already, it makes you already walk into the room before you even walk into the room. You walk past owls and stuff, you see, you walk past everything, you notice you can see everything clear. Everybody's jumping up, reaching, you can just pick it up. And also, when you um, go into the bar, you notice that you're like the tallest one. You notice, then you see somebody tall, it's like they're not even interested and stuff. But I want this shit to still be there and stuff. Let's see if we get some feedback as far as that and stuff. So I kind of hope, hopefully you follow my directions of what I'm asking. Put how tall you are and how tall you are. Put how tall you are, I'm six feet, and put how tall you are with heels on. Anyway, that being said, I'm like six feet, so I put on heels on like six four, I guess six five. Anyway, like I said before, you can follow me on Instagram. I only have to tell this one because the record is already on my page. Everybody's following me. Like I said before, I told you before, I cannot share too much information with you only because I'm being very much tough and watched. Anyway, that being said, um, remember you can follow me on Instagram, that's Reba underscore over, that's Reba underscore over, or Instagram and stuff like that, and this way you get a chance to see a lot more of my life and living and see a lot more, um, stuff I cannot put on YouTube only because of copyright reasons and stuff like that. Anyway, that being said, I'd like to say, be safe if you go out tonight, I'm let you I love you, and I want to thank you for watching, Kiss the Rain. All right now, go on Instagram, look at my name, Raven underscore over, come on Raven, that's Raven underscore over on Instagram, this way you get a chance to see a lot more of my life and living, and also get a lot of perks and extras and stuff as far as my life, even me waking up in the morning, see you there, love you.